Hey, what's up there, guys? Corey here of the Android community, and we're taking a look at the brand new GroupMe uh, version 4.0 that was just released today for Android. If you're not familiar with GroupMe, it's a massive group messaging service for Android and iOS and smartphones, dumb phones, um, Blackberry phones, I mean, you name it, web browsers. It can work um, across just about everything, and uh, it's super easy, it's real time. I mean, direct messages, I mean, it's a really awesome app. We've been using it tons, and GroupMe 4.0 just launched for Android, and uh, they have Brand new redesigned user interface, larger font, um, you know, in your face, easy to use navigation, um, swipe gestures, and then they also have, uh, you know, better HD uh, contact and avatar pictures to help with the direct messaging and everything else, not to mention tablet support. So that's something a lot of people have been asking for, and now we have full tablet support, as you can see here on my nifty Nexus 7 and my fancy little case. But real quickly here, you can see you can group with chats, or, you know, chat with groups in, you know, Everyone in your life, quick and easy, faster, cleaner, richer chat and user interface, large avatar and group photos, and then you can simply tap those group photos or individual photos for direct messages. So instead of making an entire new chat or group or window, um, you can just instantly tap a, a certain person for direct messages, so it's super easy as well. So I've all obviously changed this out so you don't have to uh, see all my goofy uh, conversation with friends and family and coworkers. So here we've just kind of started a new one real quick, and right off the bat here, you see Android, that's me, and then testing. I did a little bit of testing in one of them. So when you go ahead and tap up here, you can see my conversation list. Hello, testing, group me, a couple different little messages I've posted in there. And then you can easily just swipe to the side, and then here is that room, that group, that chat box, and then it just shows me I'm the only one in this group um, talking. That's my avatar here, the little Android. So you can change it, view it, and if it's someone else, you tap that and simply send a direct message. So this will be a lot longer of a scrolling bar if there's multiple users in this group. But for now, this is just me because I hit everybody else. And then over here, you simply scroll over, swipe over, and on this side, you have everybody or all your different chats. So whether you have one with a friend, you have one with family, your coworkers, one specifically with your boss, all of your different chats or groups or chat rooms, whatever you want to call them here, will show up on this side. So you instantly tap that. It'll go to this conversation. Hi world. Say some goofy little message. I need Swift key. Make it faster. And there's the message. And then obviously, same thing, you swipe over and I'll show you everyone here. And go back to my old conversation with the multiple messages. And then you can share, you can like, you know, comments for later viewing. And then obviously right here that you know, add feature, so add photos, add location, add maps, so you can uh, quickly and easily add to your messages with that nifty little feature. And then, as usual, the settings, um, they've completely redesigned the look and feel of the settings page. So here you can change everything, rejoin groups you've left, you can change your name, change your avatar. Messaging and syncing options have all been tweaked. The notification system is massive now. You can do time mute, so you can mute certain groups or all groups you know if you're not at work and you want to mute your you know work conversation if you guys use this for work or what have you and then obviously you can go in and change and tweak the notification settings for each individual group so you get a certain notification if it's you know with a friend or a wife or a significant other typing notifications so if someone starts typing you get a notification on that as well before they actually send the message so there's tons of new features for the notifications you can unhide content so if someone posts a photo, you can always hide that later to kind of clean up your timeline and then unhide it later. And then, of course, log out. So those are just a couple of the settings here with the brand new GroupMe 4.0. Then over here, you can share things, notifications, add people to the group, share things with the you know standard share options, and then uh, get to the settings there again, and that's just specific for that group. So when you're over here, you can see all your groups and all your contacts and all your conversations, and then they neatly show up right here. And then when you slide over, it'll show you everyone in the group, add the group, or edit the group, all from each uh, individual side. So it's very simple, intuitive, and user-friendly on the tablet. User interface is similar on smartphones, only it's not a floating window. They're each their own page, obviously, because we have less screen real estate. But that was just a quick look at the brand new GroupMe 4.0 for Android. Now available on tablets. Go ahead and get it in the Google Play Store. Thanks for watching, guys.